No, I don't waste no time What's going on guys and welcome back to a new video. My name is Joshua Daniel George. For those of you that are new to the channel, I own a social media marketing agency and a coaching business where I help you start your own social media marketing agency and how to basically get your first client, how to book your uh, pipeline full with prospects and how to scale your agency so that you can live life on your own terms. And for those of you that have watched yesterday's video, you will have found out that I am revamping my lifestyle design uh, program uh, just with new information, update the modules so that you basically get more value in a shorter amount of time. And uh, one of the ideas that I had was to add live calls, so live sales calls with my uh, clients, um, good as well as bad. So I basically dissect the calls and you know give you some information of what I did right and what I did wrong so that when you actually start getting sales calls yourself, you know exactly what to do and what to say in every single situation. And I feel like that is something that is missing in a lot of co uh, courses. Um, I feel like a lot of the courses nowadays are very much theory based and that might be because they don't actually have that um, experience, you know, the, the real life experience or they just don't feel comfortable um, adding the sales calls. Now with that said, not every single course um, is missing that you know for example uh, 30 day SMA with uh, Quentin and Jovan has got that and they do a really good job of explaining how that sales call goes and they have also inspired me um, to basically do the same with my course uh, you know to basically show you guys live calls of me um, you know potentially closing uh, clients and if I don't close the clients I still want to show it to show you guys you know what I did wrong and what I did right and um, I'm literally just looking at them now you know going through the because uh, I record all my sales calls regardless if I close them or not because I want to see what am I doing and at what point am I winning the client's trust or at what point am I actually losing the clients and I want to basically improve on that point uh, so that I can make sure that I don't make the same mistakes again or that I don't say the, the things that prevent the client from actually signing. And while looking through these, um, you know, basically my old sales calls, um, it's so cringy to look back at these old sales calls because um, like it's it, the audio calls, but the recording is video, so I can see myself reading from the script. And some some of the things like you can literally just um, you can literally see me reading off the script word by word, by word, and you can hear me read. You know when you got that monotone voice, like that is literally what it's like. Um, but nevertheless, I need to get through this because I need to basically you know give it more structure, and I uh, want to dissect these for the, the, the course, like I said. And there's basically three things that I've noticed that I did wrong previously that uh, nowadays I no longer do, and that has really increased my closing rates, in my opinion. And the first one is, um, what I used to do is talk very much about the time it's going to take me to um, get the result for the client. So uh, one of my first calls um, it was an Upwork client or potential Upwork client. I didn't actually close the client. Um, and uh, basically my hourly rate on Upwork at the time was $15. And I thought that I had to um, basically, because I wanted, I wanted $800 a month for this. And I thought that I had to basically break down for the client how I got to that 800. And the client didn't even ask for it. I literally started this, like I opened this, uh, you know, basically what is it, kind of worms myself. And I basically started breaking down how many hours a day I would spend on it, how much time it would take, and how much effort it would cost to get the desired results. When um, I now know that you should never talk about the time it costs because the client literally doesn't care. They really don't care how long it takes you. If it takes you 10 minutes or it takes you 10 hours, as long as they get the desired results, they are fine with it. And um, an example for that is obviously like the dentist example, which is going around on, like, I think almost everyone has used this example at one point, um, where uh, you know if you've got a toothache and you go to a dentist um, and a dentist goes, okay, um, I can get this done in 10 minutes and it's gonna cost you $1,000. You're not going to say to the dentist, "Oh, that's 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 a that's a you know a lot of money for a short amount of time." Because what's the dentist going to say? The dentist is going to say, "Okay, well, if you want, I can do the same procedure in four hours." You know, it's it's this, the result is going to be the same, just that I'm just going to take my time on it. You know, you're not going to choose that over um, the ten minute procedure because the result is the same, and that is the way the clients see it as well. They literally don't care how long it takes you, as long as you get that desired result. So if you can get them a return on investment and it only takes you one hour total a month, then they are fine with that. So when you are speaking to your potential clients, 
Never mention the time and effort it takes for you to get that result. Only mention the transformation and literally the result that they are going to get. Okay, so the solution that you're providing to the problem. Because every single client is at one point. So let's say the client is here and they want to be here. Okay, this is their desired self. This is where they want to be. This could be uh, more appointments. This could be a bigger business. This could be, um, you know, less time spent on the business and more time working on other projects or you know it could be anything it depends on what the client wants okay so your aim is to basically provide that solution that gets them from a to b and they literally don't care how long it takes you in terms of like uh, costs and how much uh, time it takes you to get there if you can get them to that point they will spend that money on you and give you that retainer okay so talk about the transformation so what they can do if they achieve that and you know the result that they can expect from your service not about the time it takes for you to do it okay now speaking of that another mistake i made i've already brushed over it um, is about the price and um what you never should do like i said before is break down the price in terms of uh, the result so uh, i done this with one of my videography clients um i basically broke down everything i done with ed editing the video when the end result was literally okay a promo video of five minutes um and i felt like because i asked 200 euros for it at the time for a five minute promo video um and in my head i thought i can't ask for, for five minutes i can't ask for 200 euros um but obviously it doesn't take me five minutes to record this video you know it the end result is five minutes but i needed to film for an entire day which uh, also cost me an hour to get there, an hour back, then a full day of filming. Um, it cost me my camera equipment. I've got the software that I edited on. I've, you know, it cost me hours of editing as well. So like the whole project, me, I might have cost me like forty-eight hours, and I felt the need to actually break that down on the the basically the invoice. So I literally said, okay, uh, driving to location two hours, um, recording uh, footage eight hours, editing two hours, uh, adding uh, B-roll, four hours, ed um, adding like color grading, two hours, and I literally broke everything down. And they, they guys, they do not, three died, so I needed to charge the battery, so we're actually half an hour later now, but um, nevertheless, so like I said, they literally do not care how much time it takes you to do it. They literally don't care about all the efforts. You don't need to stack the value. Um, all they care about, like I said, is the transformation and the result. And lastly, Again, another mistake I have made um, is basically adding on all these extra features and extras that they don't necessarily want. So what I used to do is, so my main service for those that don't know is Facebook ads. So I help businesses basically get more leads, more bookings and more sales by leveraging Facebook ads and uh, paid funnels. And what I used to do is because I felt like saying, okay, I charge 1500 for Facebook ads. I felt like that was too much or too little for, you know, basically what i was asking for so i used to add all these extras that they didn't even want like i literally used to say okay and alongside that we'll also manage your socials we'll make sure that your page grows we'll make sure that there's content there every single day we'll make sure that there's top of mind awareness um and alongside that we'll also add um, additional reporting every single week or on demand um, we will make sure that your email sequence is set up correctly we will also give you consultation on influencer marketing and i literally you stack all these random little extra features and they do not want that and because i i thought okay i'm basically giving more value for the same price but they do not care about all these extra features and more often than not they'll think oh that sounds like a lot of stuff you know i don't know whether we can handle that we don't know whether it's going to be okay you know i don't know whether this guy can actually deliver on all these uh features and metrics etc so uh that actually was um it basically made my uh, sales call suffer because i was adding all these extras so uh my tip for you guys now today and you know going forward well i've been doing it for a while but obviously you know after seeing all these calls again it basically reminded me of uh, the offer that i'm giving the clients and you basically need to have like a minimal viable offer so something that is literally minimal so one solution or one transformation for the client one thing that you're going to do and you need to master that okay so for example in the case of um, dentists you're going to help dentists book more um i don't know dental implants uh dental implant clients um on a monthly basis by facebook lead generation ads done that is it okay for that 
you know, so what you're going to do is you're going to get them more um, expensive clients and for that you are charging them 1500 a month, 2000 a month because um, if they get five clients from that, which you can easily get them in a month time, they are up 10K, okay? And then they basically they've gotten a return on investment and that is all you need to do, okay? All these extras, influencer marketing, etc., is not needed. And if you don't offer that as a main service, just scrap it all and focus on the one thing that you're going to do for that client, okay? So I hope you got something out of this. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to know more, about uh, you know social media marketing, how to get started, how to get your first clients, etc. I offer a free discovery call. It's linked in the description box down below, and uh, from there, you know, basically, I'll show you, you know, what you need to do to get started. Subscribe to the channel for more, and I'll see you guys in the next video.